Yeah, good morning everybody. It's about eight o'clock now. Just picked up Gordon and yeah. we have a busy damn day in front of us. Look at all the parts. Yo, those people on the bus that were just staring at us. In half a mile, they doing? turn left onto Brighton Avenue. They're waiting for the bus. <laughs> we got about nine jobs today. <laughs> Nine if you ten. think about it, I mean, I can't. I would try to list them, but honestly, I'd probably not work I'm gonna out. Ramble them off. Uh, we gotta go do a CPMS reset. reset. We gotta do struts on a Civic, sway bar links. We gotta do control arms on a Durango. Alternator on a Jeep Liberty, starter on a Ford F 150 with uh, caliper bracket bolts. And, and a bypass hose for a Land Rover. Full brake job for a Subaru with a brake fluid flush. Turn left on right now. And there's something else. Um, if there's time, we're gonna go look at a four wheel drive actuator for my friend Anthony the barber. Yeah. And there might be something else. I was hoping to call the day at three o'clock, but nope, we're looking like it's gonna be like nine o'clock. F it, Christmas is coming. We need the bread. <laughs> Let's get this TPMS reset done. Ooh, Civic. All right, we're getting to it. Let's get her done. We already got the front rotors off. Uh, got the rotors off, got the caliper bracket, got the strut off that. We gotta take this whole strut out and the links. We're planning on dropping the strut to get to the bottom link. Take it out of the assembly. Where is this stupid thing? That's where the top the strut bolts are. Stupid head out. Old pads rotors. We got the front struts links out. Got the rear shocks done. Had to go through the trunk. So right there. Cleaning up now. I don't even know what time it is. Right. Look at those nasty motherfuckers. Got the front struts, links, rear shocks, links, and pads rotors in the front. All done. On the Honda Civic. On the Civic. Now we're on our way to go get a starter and a caliper bracket bolts. Yeah, we're on a Ford F-150. Let's get her done! Yo, it's freezing. Oh. <laughs> ah, camera light. I just dropped Gordon off at the second job. Uh, we left the parts at his house, so I'm shooting to his house while he's taking out the starter. I'm gonna be grabbing the starter. By the time I get back, he should have the starter out. We could pop the new one in when I get back, and then we gotta change the caliper bolts. These five O's, Ford engines, it's stupid. It's got a three bolt starter design, and the top one, you have to use like a two foot extension from the front of the vehicle. From the front of the engine, you have to go through the whole entire thing, over the frame, around the compressor, all the way to the belt housing. Gordon does these starters a lot, so we figured he would take it apart. He's quicker with it. We know our pros and cons. Oh, it hurts. There's the starter. Stupid setup. Oh, it's loose. It's got three bolts coming. It's coming. This is the three bolt setup. One, two, three. Uh, here comes the fucking people to find business. Why is this guy's radio so loud? I thought that was people talking. I thought that was a radio. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, it makes me so tired. You're tired, oh, bro? So tired. I'm not going to want to work after this. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. What's your hope? Okay. Oh, oh, we got to lose. It's a, it's a, it's a starter. It's a starter. It's a boy. Oh, yay. Right, let's get the new one out. Give me the new one. It's right there. What do you mean? 
I'm looking right at it. Where? Well, I'm also videotaping it. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. What's the fuck? Take these off, Christ. Oh, shit. Three bolts. Wait, what is something look different here? But okay. There Oh my, oh my god! Yo, I almost got that. Oh, I almost hit myself with the head. Yo, be careful, bro. Mm. Mm. Alright, so the starter ended up taking us a while. And I just really wanted to get the starter done. I ended up falling asleep for an hour, so I didn't even... <laughs> I fell asleep for an hour, and Gorn was pretty much doing it by himself. I mean, you could only get one hand in there, so there was really nothing I could do anyway. We ended up shooting back to Gorn's house. We got an all-around brake job done with a brake flush um, done, and, some money and we reset a TPMS system. I got to get better with filming. I honestly suck at filming. I got to start getting on top of it, maybe get a tripod or something. You got to learn from somewhere, right? And you know what? I'm just doing it. I'm just being me. Warren is just being him. We're gonna get it done just one way or another. Gene. The only way you get better is by just doing it. You can't just practice, practice, practice and never do it. You just gotta do it. Full send. Also, I finally sold my Harley. I've been wanting to do that for a while now. It's just, it was time. It was just sitting there for months. I was never gonna get to it. I have too much stuff going on. So where are we on our way to now? Durango. Lower control arms, upper control arms, no stress. That's all the parts in the back seat. Yeah, so Let's hopefully, get it going. Not hopefully, we're gonna put this stuff in. We're gonna put this stuff in, edit yeah, that part out. Like, uh, it's gonna go good. That's about 34 degrees now. The temperature dropped again, but. Before it was 31. Sure we got our suits on. on. We're in the car with heat on right now. I still can't feel my toes. What yeah. are you gonna do, huh? It's, uh, it's cold, but we're gonna get it done. Alright, check in later. So we just pulled up to the job and I realized I don't have axle sockets. So I had to shoot to the store and pick up axle sockets. Good times, peoples. Alright, I'm back. What up? We got the axle sockets. You already got the upper out? Oh, I need a grease skinny. That must have been in the baggie. Let's get it. So this lower bowl joint is frozen. The nut and the bolt are frozen in there. So we got to cut it up. And then once that happens, we're going to heat up the sleeve and try to get the sleeve to separate from the bolt. We're trying not to have to repair the bolt if we don't have to. go take two so we actually cut the sleeve on an angle and we got the bolt to spin out of we got the thing i'm actually shocked that's not hot it's hot and we got the bolt to slide out of the sleeve yeah buddy there i go i'm gonna get it done get your push light on so when the bushing of the control arm is frozen to the bolt, it sits like this. But when you cut it open, it actually spreads itself away from, we cut the bolt. Yeah, we can still use that, that's fine. Yeah, we can still use that. That's right. still yeah, buddy. So we got pretty much everything done today. We haven't had a good day like today in a while. So thank goodness for that. We needed one of these days to just get everything done. I gotta get better at filming though because I'm really terrible at filming. We just get too focused. I gotta make more time. Like, maybe like, film it when I do it, and then like, one day or the next day, put like, maybe two hours each day towards it, or just something. I wanna put good videos out, so I need to get better at this. We started about like eight o'clock, and now it's 7.45, so it was a pretty good 12 hour day. Till next time, folks.